Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, I'll be introducing you to the topic Metazoa. I know you are new to this channel. Kindly press the subscribe button and like my video so that you get notification whenever I post a new video. What is Metazoa? This is the term that multicellular animals are collectively referred to. In other words, multicellular organisms or animals are collectively called Metazoa. They are heterotrophic multi-multicellular animals that actually develop from the embryo. Their gametes develop from either the cells in the body, what we call the somatic cells, or from sex organs. They possess great diversity comprising of more than 24 phyla. It should be noted that only one of these phyla is actually or actually have what we call the noctocord. And this phyla is actually guided as for the codata. We're talking about the first phyla, invertebrate phyla of the metazoa, and is the phyla placozoa. Placozoa are actually the simplest animals on earth. They are regarded as the most primitive metazoa and they are extremely simple. What are their characteristics? You can see from the diagram of, of metazoa being displayed on the board that they are actually spherical, they are round. You know that they are small because they are so primitive. They are flat like a plate, which gives them the name Placozoa. This organism, as you can see from the diagram of the board, possess two layers. The top epithelial layer, or the upper epithelial layer, and the bottom uh, ventral layer. Now you can see between this layer, you can see that there is an intermediate layer from the diagram that is really displayed on the board. And this intermediate layer is actually called the mesohi. Now, look at the diagram closely. You observe that there are just four types of cells in the body of Placozoa. In this upper layer, you know that they have the cover cell. You can check the diagram and you realize that they have the cover cell in this upper layer, while in the bottom layer, you know that they have the cylinder cell as well as the gland cell. Now, in the intermediate layer, you also notice that they have the fiber cells there. So we have four types of cells in the body of Placozoa, namely the gland cell, the cylinder cell, the cover cell, as well as the fiber cell. Placozoa body actually possesses the smallest amount of DNA when measured compared to any other uh, animal present on Earth. And their body usually consists of few thousands of cells. Other characteristics of Placozoa is actually really displayed on the body. And this organism actually reproduces through the process of what? Binary fusion. Alright? Please take note of some of this. The Placozoa, as we know it, only possess just few organisms. And there are about four of them which is being displayed on the board. The next phyla that we'll mention is the phylum mesozoa. The phylum mesozoa is actually regarded as the middle link. It was discovered by ben, uh, Van Benedin in 1876 and it's actually regarded as the middle link between the eukaryotic organism, or the eukaryotic uh, protozoa, as well as the multicellular or metazoa. So this phylum is supposed to actually come be before the placozoa. This phylum is unique in the sense that its origin is actually being contested. Some speculate, some scientists actually suggest that it originates from the protozoa, while others suggest that it originates from the flatty hermitis, the flat worm, with several body structures being degenerated over time. Their characteristics, what are their characteristics? They are worm-like. 
organism lacking digestive system and various other systems. You should also note that even the placozoa, as we mentioned before, lack organized tissue. Organized organ is also like lacking as well as organized what system. They are usually between the size of 0 0.5 to 7 millimeter in length, and their body consists of two layers. Now, how are these organisms classified? The mesozoa are classified into two classes. The phylum mesozoa are classified into two classes, the rabozoa and the octonetida. Take note that these two classes are so different, or so distinct from each other that certain scientists are elevating them to the phyla category. And example of organism present in this group is being displayed on the board. In our next class, I'll be continuing with the phylum prolifera in the invertebrate series. Thank you very much.